Hey guys, we are back and as Foods254, I want to thank everyone that has been supporting our show through subscribing, sharing and just leaving a comment. It means a lot for us. It means a lot to us guys. So um, on today's show, we are joined by Richard Onderi. He's not new to this show. He's become part of us actually. So Richard, I want you to feel welcomed. For our new viewers uh, who don't know you, just tell them who you are and what you do. Oh, thanks a lot for the opportunity again. It's been an awesome experience actually. I really appreciate. Uh, the previous episodes have really helped me out in a few things. Wow. Uh, personally, I'm a chef. I do catering. That is what I do as a, prof as a profession and it's what I love. I do it with passion. Yeah. yeah. Um, again, I will ask you this. Apart from uh, the chef thing and all that, is there any other thing that you do? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I do love doing charity. And um, I give back to the community through what I love doing, and that's cooking. Yeah. And I'm sure guys are, you guys are waiting to, to know what we are preparing today. So just take us through your recipe for today, if you don't mind. Okay, so for today we're going to do cardamom chapatis. And cardamom chapatis? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. We had, <laughs> we had, we had, we, I thought, okay, I came up with this recipe just to make a twist of the chapati. Okay. We are used to having just a, the plain the chapati. The normal chapati, yeah. you know. So uh, I decided like I can twist it a bit and mm -hmm. enhance the flavors. Yeah, and then uh, we're also going to, okay, we're actually doing a common meal that in Kenya we get to have yeah. around, yeah. So we're going, to, we're going to do chapati and beans for today. Chapati madondo. Yeah, it's but then today we're going to twist it a bit. <laughs> it's not going it to be more. the normal chapati no, madondo. No, 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 it's going to be a bit <laughs> different from what you get to have at home. Okay, Yeah. ingredients? Yeah, so, so we're going to do cardamom chapatis and we're also going to do the beans in coconut sauce. Apart yeah. from the cardamom, okay, guys, I know you're waiting for us to start. Apart from the cardamom, what else can you use inst uh, instead of cardamom? Um, sometimes I, get, I use cinnamon. It's actually nice, really nice. It also has a nice, some nice flavors. Okay. And okay, of course, the normal that people get to use pumpkin, carrots. Yeah, you can know, yeah, you okay, can let's use start. <laughs> <laughs> let's start. Yeah, I want to learn that trick <laughs> that uh, produces soft chapatis, you know. Right. Now, we're going to, for the chapatis, we're going to use the normal wheat flour. And you know, um, cardamom is like uh, the queen of spices. You yeah, know? it's actually really the flavor and the, the aroma it produces is just um, something. It's one of the best. It's one of the best you can ever have experience. <laughs> yeah. And it was also it's also used as a traditional medicine actually, yeah. because it helps in digestion, heartburn. You know. Yeah. Also, also, I actually saw it somewhere that it also <laughs> helps in weight loss. Yeah. Yeah. If you also eat well, I mean, you cannot just consume cardamom and you come eat a whole bowl of ugali. Yeah, yeah of course. Uh, okay. <laughs> Moderation. <laughs> okay, it now we're going to, to use the flour. Okay. Then some salt, a bit of some salt. Then some sugar. Okay. Now for the cardamom, um, personally, I prefer getting the cardamom seeds. Okay. Then you grind then them. Then I grind them myself so that I can get the rich aroma from it. Wow. I remove the po from the pods, I remove, I get the seeds from inside the pod. Mm -hmm. Those are the only ones that I get to grind. Wow. Mm, it smells. Oh, it smells it's, nice. Yeah, it's really nice. And you'll get to feel the difference between this and the normal powder. Actually, the this one, one looks a little bit uh, black. Yeah, because it's because you've only used the seeds in the pods. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you won't even have to put a lot because it's strong. Yeah. Right. No, for the for the chapatis to come out really soft, mm. there are a few things that you have to do. Okay, that the tricks that I've learned with the time I've been doing this okay. that will make the the dough to become soft and okay, at the end of the day you'll have soft chapatis. Yeah. So the first thing is using like really boiling water, hot boiling water. Because I also understand when you use very hot boiling water, you end up consuming a lot of flour. Yeah, that is true. Other mm -hmm. people have this notion that uh, spices are bad, you know. You've had clients who tell you that they don't want spices. So you, how do you um, handle such clients? 
you know, we usually ask, you know, for them to be very specific because, you know, mm. it depends on what spices you're talking about. And then the quantity is <laughs> The too. quantity matters yeah. too. You also don't have to put a lot. Yeah. Because most of them use them for flavor. You know, a long time, chapati was just for Christmas. <laughs> but nowadays... Nowadays, you find it everywhere. Everywhere. Mm -hmm. All the bandas, this chapati. Very cheap, by the way. Yeah, you know? they're cheap, <laughs> but then now you see the difference. Now this is where we bring the difference between the ones that you get locally. Mm -hmm. and, and the ones from a chef. Yes, yes, yes. Now our dough is ready. We ha we're going to let it rest as we prepare the beans. Now for the beans, uh, I'm going to help me with the pan. Okay. Put the onions first. So we fry the onions. Okay, now we're going to use tomatoes too. Okay. We'll also, also cut it into cubes. I prefer, I prefer uh, adding the garlic with the tomatoes because if you add the garlic here with the onions, it burns. It's been, oh, it yeah. burns so quick. yeah. Okay. I'm gonna add this. Our tomatoes are ready. We're going to start adding the spices first, then we'll add the, the okay. beans. I'm going to use a bit of turmeric. Uh, I'll also add a bit of the cardamom. And oh, the, cardamom too? Yeah, and the coconut cream. Wow. You know, also the turmeric is good for the diabetic people. Exactly, you're teaching me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm reluctant. Oh. I'm quiet. Okay. <laughs> and um, most people say that... Uh, 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 people, diabetic people cannot consume chapati, the white chapati. They can consume it, it's just the, the amount. Because if they take it in uh, large amounts, then uh -huh. it raises their blood sugar. So All just right. take it in minimal, either brown or white, take it in minimal. Can I going so to add by the way, this year it's all about moderation. Mm -hmm. No matter how nutritious the food is, it has to be in moderation. Okay. Yes. But then you know some some of us eat up to five chapatis for us not to sleep hungry. What? Yeah. Five. Yeah, you know some of us have a <laughs> minimum. Chef Andre takes five chapatis. <laughs> no, 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 I haven't said me specifically. I said some no, of it, us. It's just wrong. How do you even sleep? Most people who do that they skip meals. You you find they've not taken breakfast, they've not taken lunch. So during supper, they want to revenge. There's no need to do that. And is it wrong since you're, really you're since you're compensating for the other meals that you missed? It's wrong. Okay. <laughs> Breakfast should be heavy, and you know that I told you. There's this norm: if you want to lose weight, please avoid carbohydrates. No, this is an energy-giving food, and you need it. And as I said, it's just all about moderation. Just take in small quantities, and you're gonna be fine. Compare Which one? Which stick are you comfortable with? Which one, you, <laughs> which, are, which one are you comfortable with? You choose so that you don't say that I had, a I had an advantage over you, huh? This one is, okay, no, this one. Ah. Okay, Shifundari. Hata kuna. Wa. Oh. I know how to make chapos, but now when it comes to cameras, petition. Why does it always have to backfire when I have a guest? <laughs> it hasn't backfired. You're not putting enough flour. Oh. Yeah. No, but this, this one does not really have to be round because you're putting the oil. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Now this is the other way of doing it. Okay. That is, I think will take us to the pages. Oh, this one produces pages. Yes. There's another style we saw. Which one? Oh, <laughs> two no. strips. No, that's a different one. And then it has too much work. Okay, so now we are done with the first step. Yeah. Now we're going to get to the next step, which is the final stage before we put it to the pan. And and someone cannot really differentiate which ones are yours and mine. So 
personally I can. <laughs> because, personally. I'm, because, because I'm used to, I, I'm used uh, to no, someone I, else, I, I mean. <laughs> You've tried, yeah. actually, you've tried. I've not tried. That bad, oh, not yeah. that bad. thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, now this is the final stage. We want layers. We've huh. really, really talked about those layers. <laughs> Get a spoon from the other side. And a plate. Yeah. <laughs> it's for testing, not a eating. A bowl. Okay, no problem. Skidoko. <laughs> Someone is alive eating. I'm already feeling the aroma even before I eat it. Mm. The salt is enough. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, now our pan is... Hot enough. But chapatis take long to cook. Not really. That's why people used to start preparing them at three. Yeah, you see, you see now the reason why. Yeah. Oh, you do that? Yeah, I'm used to doing, can do up to seven chapatis at, at a go. So how do you turn them? Okay, okay, I, I know what you I want to see. do. Yeah. <laughs> I <laughs> not really. I'm not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you had to no, do would, that I thing. Flip the pan can't. Oh. The different types of pans that you can do is doing that. Mm. Okay, now our chapatis are ready, and uh, our beans are also ready. But we have to garnish it with the dania. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now. So chapati madondo can be this. Eh? It can be this young. <laughs> it can be this cool. Mm -hmm. This is Madondo. The, no, the, the Madondo we know. Then the, the Chapo, local. Eh? The local Chapo beans. Mwitu. Sorry. Now you can have a test and tell me what if, you think. Uh, it's now about the pages. You were asking about there? The pages one. Eh. <laughs> so as a nutritionist, you can't take more than a one chapati. Yes. But that's what you're advising us not to do. Yeah, I no. should not take more than one. So actually that's enough for you for today. This is and just quarter. Yeah. So guys, uh, I'm going to eat later. Well, Chef Onderio, mm -hmm. thank you so much. Uh, your final, final, final word. Been enjoying all this. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's given me a bit of some exposure. Yes. Made me get to places I, I never thought I could get to. And what I will tell our viewers is that communicate with us, come and tell us what you want. We can actually do a recipe that maybe you want to learn. And actually this year we want to be, we want it to be a year of moderation, mm -hmm. you know, because being healthy is very cheap, by the way. When okay. you are healthy, you don't even care about bills, you going to the hospital or wherever. So let it be a year of moderation yeah so even for the people who go to the gym yes this is where it starts from it's all exactly. just the gym. Mm, yeah. Nico gym i mean guys it's not all about gym nutrition is the key <laughs> <laughs> subscribe okay. that's it for today guys see you next time